What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly the perfect live stream settings for Twitch Studio in 2019. So if you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. I would say let's get started, obviously, right after the intro. So right now I would like to introduce you guys to own3d.tv, the ultimate website to get your resource for live streaming, whether it's overlays, alerts, alert sounds, panels, stinger transitions, sub emotes, sub badges, bit badges, website for streamers, an avatar maker, everything that you need to get started live streaming is on this website. No matter if you're looking for streaming overlays, gaming overlays itself, talking overlays, webcam overlays, stream panels, stream banners, these panels when somebody donates that pops up during your live stream. Everything is on this website, guys. They have a ton of excellent ranked reviews on Trustpilot as well. Everything comes in high quality that you can download right away, guys. It is really cool. Check the link in the description. Start downloading today and improve your live streams. Now, let's continue with the video. All right, guys. So as you can see right now, when you boot up Twitch Studio, this is basically what you will see. Now, in order to get the best stream settings way back in the day, you would actually go to the OBS estimator, which is discontinued a long time ago go by the way but what you have to do is you have to do an internet speed and then fill in like your upload speed into the, in the into the website and then they would give you the right bit rate but the really cool thing is that this program will do it automatically for you so once we've booted it up what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on these three stripes at the very top and we're gonna click file and we're gonna hit settings so right here it says stream now obviously you can click on re-optimized settings then it's going to do a really quick internet speed right here as you can see and then it's going to test certain settings for example 720p 60 fps so everything you don't need to fill in your bit rate and all that it's just going to do like this internet speed internally and then you can go ahead and use that speed so right now if i'm i'm connected with cable so obviously my live stream is ready for 720p 60 fps but i assume that if you have for example like wi-fi and the modem or the router is like on a floor like below you or a couple of rooms further with all the doors closed the internet speed can be a little less than obviously like 720p or 60 fps so you just want to run that internet speed right here here internally. So once this is finished testing, we can just use these right settings so that we know that our live stream settings are actually optimized onto our program itself and not really like we have to like guess what kind of settings will work the best and they will end up having like a lot of lag. So right now it is just 720p 30 FPS obviously. It even gives you a warning for example like your stream may appear choppy or blurry due to your internet connection and hardware but that really depends on what kind of internet speed you have, what kind of computer do you have because there's like a really big difference between between an i3 computer and an i5 or even an i7. Based on my current internet speed that I'm doing right now, it gives me 1080p 60 FPS. I think I have like a decent upload, I think around 20 upload, and then it's obviously suitable for a 1080p 60 FPS. So the next thing we can do is click on audio so we can actually select our microphone. Right here, you can obviously like adjust this marker so you will don't actually like, you know, go in the red because if I put it to that, it's gonna be in the red, it's gonna be way too high and it's gonna clip our audio and it's gonna really hurt the ears of your viewers make sure that you will have like your voice not even in the yellow but just a little bit just keep talking keep talking until you are speaking loud enough that this one is not going to go in the yellow because then it will be just right obviously of course you can also configure hotkeys for example like if you want to start the stream you can just for example press for example eight on your keyboard and then it's going to obviously you know note that as start streaming you can even stop streaming for example we're going to hit the, the numpad we're going to pick seven and so we can so we don't have to go ahead and go out our game for example to stop the stream or start the stream you can just go ahead and click on seven or eight to start and stop the stream you can also obviously like you know put different screens on for example like be right back i don't know why this is in dutch and the rest is english you guys know what i'm trying to say like you can configure all different keys make sure that you don't configure keys you need for gaming for example so you don't won't actually accidentally stop or start the stream once like over and over if you need extra things for example like a live stream overlay panels or like face cam borders i think i have something in store for you which i'm going to introduce to you guys right now so right now, I would like to take a quick break to introduce you guys to own3d.tv, the ultimate website to get your resource for live streaming, whether it's over.
overlays, alerts, alert sounds, panels, stinger transitions, sub emotes, sub badges, bit badges, website for streamers, an avatar maker, everything that you need to get started live streaming is on this website. No matter if you're looking for streaming overlays, gaming overlays itself, talking overlays, webcam overlays, stream panels, stream banners, these panels when somebody donates that pops up during your live stream, everything is on this website guys. They have a ton of excellent ranked reviews on Trustpilot as well. Everything comes in high quality that you can download right away guys. It is really cool. Check the link in the description, start downloading today and improve your live streams. Now let's continue with the video. So guys, this is how to get the best live stream settings. It works a lot different than years ago where you would actually like do an external internet speed, fill in your like your bit rate and your buffer size and all that in order to get the right settings. Right now, Twitch Studio will actually do it for you and they will pick the best settings based on your internet speed and also on your hardware. So guys, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Like I've mentioned, if you need these amazing assets and you know resources for your live streams, make sure to check out the description. You can find the link right there. We're gonna go ahead and cover a lot more topics in the upcoming 11 episodes I have lined up for you guys. All of that is coming soon and I'm really, really excited. So guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to go ahead and check out own3d.tv for all the assets that you need in terms of like live streaming and all that. Thanks a lot for them for sponsoring this video. I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, smash the like button down below and subscribe for more tutorials and I will see you guys obviously in my next video.